Welcome to my free spline tutorial. I'm going to go through really quickly and uh, make something with splines here. I'm going to uh, use the uh, plus key to make some uh, points here from the side view. Like that, control P to make a spline. So you can see from the uh, perspective view, they've got this profile. And control T, which is a drag, I'm going to kind of just adjust these a bit like this. And I'm going to make a reptile head. I'm going to use the uh, plus key again and put a point here, just sort of floating out there. That's going to that's going to be where the corner of the mouth is. Click on points and then shift select that next point. Control P, which will make another spline. Deselect this one. Control X, which I've assigned uh, add points to. I'm going to add three points. So. Control X, add point, control T to drag it. And I'm going to just sort of create this profile for the head like this and then go from the side view and just sort of make it more interesting shape for it. Now I'm going to uh, hit copy, uh, hide selected, and paste. Um, and then Y for rotate. And then unhide. Let's weld these two together. Control W. So now I've got the upper lower jaw. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, plus key again. In the left mouse button, I'm going to lay down another point there. Uh, right there. And then right mouse button, continue. Adding more points. Control P to make a spline. Select these two points. Control P to make a spline. And then Control S to smooth between those like that. Okay. I'm going to turn off the grid here real quick. Um, show grid. Okay. So you can see that I've got this sort of three-dimensional profile happening. I'm going to uh, also um, split this point here. You'll see why in a second. The reason being is because when I add uh, cross-sectional splines right there, this will create a one, two, three-sided patch. Which work, I just don't like them. It's not as clean as four sided, so I'm going to pick that point there and then pick that spline. So now I have the spline and the point selected. Control L, which is uh, split, and then Control S, which will smooth them back. Okay, and so I'm going to simply make it a little bit more interesting looking here. And then I'm going to pick these two points here. Like so. Control P to make a spline. Add point here. Control T for drag. And this is why I have it set that way. Control X can add points. Control T for drag. So it makes it really easy for me to, to jump back and forth between add points and moving them. So now I've got this contour coming out for the neck. I'm going to I'm going to connect those two. Control P to make a spline. Control X. And I'm going to just to drag it up and get that because we have these two splines and they we don't want them to just end out here in the middle of space we need to continue them on all the way through the mesh and i'm going to select those two points control p to make a spline by picking the existing points i don't have to weld anything and just make this uh, profile here and we kind of overshoot it a little bit so I get the, uh, kind of a semi lip for that area there and then um, control P to make spline between those two control X to add point and uh, oops control T to drag and it's like I said just kind of so I've got these you see these profiles and see right now I can I can go one two three four control F and patch it see, but I want to kind of square off the snout a little bit. So and before I, like I was telling you, let me merge these back. Uh, so I have one two three, patch those and see how they all can the way they converge here in the front and form triangles. I don't like that, so I like to leave it like that. And so pick one, two, three, four, test it out, and see we get a much better flow 
with four sided. And then what I'm going to do here is um, to square out this snout a little bit, I'm going to hit uh, pick those two points there, control P to make a spline. And let's deselect those. Control X to add a point and pull this up like this and a little bit back. And I'm also going to split this one. So pick the point, pick the spline, control L, control S to smooth and continue bring them back like that. So I make a spline now, control P. And I don't want that point there. So or what I would do is pick this one and then this one. So get more uh, of a contour along that ridge. Deselect these. And I want I want to go for the top view here. And add a point here. Control T to drag. Add a point here. And just add points here and here. So I can match the points that I've got here. You get a much smoother flow that way. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Let's add, uh, add this one in here. And just kind of adjust. So we've got this one. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a point here. Just to help get me a little bit better shape along that. Okay. And then so select those two. Okay. Make a, got a point there. Drag it out to get that squarish shape. Okay, so I've got a point and i got the, the spline. Control L to split. Control S to smooth. And then continue selecting those points. Control P to make a spline. So. You can see that I've got one, two, three, four sided patch there, four sided patch there, under here. So that's that's what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to add another point here and a couple of here just to kind of pull it down a little bit. Okay, so now I've got my my shape here. I've got all patches along here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is pick layer two as the current background layer. And then I'm going to just uh, pick these uh, counterclockwise so that the polys will face me. Hit control F and I'm going to use knots so that it'll put more polys towards where there's actually uh, vertices. And I'm going to go uh, two by two and Two, I'm going to go four by two. Okay. Actually, uh, excuse me, let me go two by four. So parallel and perpendicular are, are defined in terms of what the last spline selected. So the first one's going to be the perpendicular across that way, and then parallel is going to be based on the last line there. So I've got that. Okay. And I want to add a bit more points in there. So let's go two by or four by two. See how that follows the contour a little bit better. Okay. So we've got that shape. And uh, let's see. Let's go two, three, four, and um, let's see. I'm gonna go and zoom in here and see how this one. I've got one, two, three, four, and I've got two that way. So uh, what I want to do is to just kill those. One, two, three, four. So I need four there and two here. 
make it match up, which now it does. See, along there matches the vertices match along there. That's what I want to do. Okay, and now let's go. Um, along here, one, two, three, four, and uh, let's go, uh, let, me, let me put this in uh, wireframe shade so you can see this better, okay, okay, so I need one, two, three, four, and it doesn't matter if I pick regular polys because it doesn't care, four by four, let's try that. Okay, and then um, deselect those, one, two, three, four, okay, those are cool, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and parallel is going to be two this time, and make sure I have that spline selected, there we go, and uh, one, two, three, four, uh, make sure we have that spline selected again. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, now, see the shape of the head. W for statistics, so I can just pick the uh, faces. Cut them. Apostrophe to switch layers. And then V for paste. M for merge. Automatic. Okay, so it welds all those points together. Hit the tab key and turn on some D's. You can see it. Let me uh, let me turn off. Uh, let me go to regular white, uh, not white shade, but smooth shade, and just so you can see this layer. So that's with sub D's turned on. Turn them off, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, quickly pick the points along here, so we can make the interior of the mouth easily enough. Hit P for poly. And we got this funky poly there, Q, surface, let's call it um, mouth. And uh, let's just give it a bit of, of a pinkish, pinkish color. Okay, now I'm going to hit um, Shift F or Smooth Shift, right click once, Control V, set value on zero, X, Okay, got it. Now I'm going to just delete that poly and then delete that poly. So now we've got the inside of the mouth. And uh, I'm going to hit Shift B, which is mirror end, and then flip it so it flips it across on the X. Okay. So we can see that. Turn on some of these with the tab key. And we got to make sure, here's one thing that we really need to make sure, and I'm going to go undo back. Make sure that these points along there, control V are exactly zero on the X axis, shift V for mirror, do it again. Okay, and then turn on sub D's. Okay. So here's the, here's our our hit. And uh, let's turn on symmetry. Actually before we do let's do this. Let's just let's just hit W. For our statistics, let's go to surfaces, let's go to mouth. And let's do the inside of the mouth. Let's do a, a smooth shift. So shift F, right click once. Go right here, H for stretch. Pull it in and pull it back. Smooth shift. Right click once. Control T for drag. And just pull this stuff up. Just like that. H for stretch. Go to the front. Just sort of pull it all together. Deselect everything except that part there in the back. Control F for smooth shift, H for stretch, and just pull back to the throat. Okay. And uh, let's see now what we can do. Let's go ahead and uh, do the eyes. Let's turn on symmetry this time and find a good spot where I can do some eyes here. And um, control 
T for dragon. Let's pull these points roughly into the shape of an eye socket. Just round them out. H for stretch. And sort of flatten them. And then Y for rotate and kind of direct them in there. Shift A for auto fit. Control T for drag. Let's just center this point up. Okay, Shift F for smooth shift. Right click once. H for stretch. T for move and just kind of get it there. Okay, smooth shift one more time. H for stretch. T for move and pushing in a little bit. And then grab that point in the center and T and move it out a little bit. Okay, and then grab that point there and just sort of adjust to get that eye socket happening. Okay, nifty -o, we get this, let's get this. So I'm just sort of thickening up the brow ridge a little bit. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go up here um, in the snout area here, right there, and we still have uh, symmetry drawn. Let's say H for stretch. Let's just sort of flatten that out a bit. Pull it. Okay, smooth shift. Right click once. H for stretch from the side here, and then smooth shift. Right click. T for move. Okay. And we can kind of mess around with that a bit. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Okay. So there we've got this... Uh, pretty decent looking head done and relatively easy. We use using spines as more of a layout tool than anything else.